you so much for joining me, Sarah Cosme. If you don't know Sarah, she is a fantastic level three practitioner in the Florida Keys over, over in America. And she has the record so far of being the fastest person to reach level three in the universe. So congratulations. So you must be very, very naturally talented and very, very special. So this series is on about funny, weird and wonderful session stories and I'd imagine that you'd have quite a few because I know you reasonably well and I and I, I know your personality so I would imagine that there's there'll be a few that stick out to you so feel free to share whatever you want want with me and whoever's watching Thanks so much, John. It's such an honor and privilege to be on your YouTube series. <laughs> um, yes, I've had so many um, interesting sessions, to say the least. Um, a lot of times it's interesting and funny because it's something I did that was wrong. <laughs> um, I'll just give you a, a little story of something that I did. So I had this client that was coming from Las Vegas and I was really excited to meet him because, um, I don't know, I wanted to impress him and I really wanted him, him to have a great session and he's coming from far away. I mean, that's like a six hour plane ride and then he had to get um, a car and come, you know, see me for the session. So it was this older man about 67 or something like that and he arrives in this really really nice car and i noticed that there's a really really young blonde girl driving i mean my daughter's like 14 and i thought she might have been 18 maybe but she had, she was wearing braces and i thought she was about a little older than my daughter's age so when he got out of the car and he started walking to my into my house and into my office i said to him is that your daughter and the look on his face was like horror like he was mortified and i realized i had just totally messed up because and i no that was his wife and i was like oh my gosh your wife oh okay so now from now on i never ever assume anything it was just so terrible but he ended up having a great session thank goodness but after that i was like oh my gosh just you know uh never gonna do that again <laughs> it couldn't have started any and, worse uh, if you tried <laughs> yeah it was just so horrible so i don't know why i don't even know why it slipped out it's like when you ask somebody if they're pregnant or something like that or if you just like make one of those mistakes it was just so horrible oh my gosh but i learned my lesson i've never done that since mm -hmm. and yeah i don't know <laughs> lesson so that learned. was really really embarrassing yeah lesson learned yeah it's never happened to me since totally. and now i know yeah <clears throat> but there's been so many times where a client will really hope that they're going to be this beautiful princess or have this amazing lifetime only to be regressed back to a lifetime and they realize that they have they do they did the same thing in a different lifetime and because they didn't learn the lesson they're back again I can't tell you mm -hmm. how many clients will just be like, oh, I did this before and that's why I'm back doing this again. It's like, oh, yeah. It's so, <laughs> mm -hmm. they don't Some things to have to change in your life. Castle or whatever. <laughs> that's right. Yes, yes. But I did have this really funny experience and um, it was a little hard to understand his accent. So, he went we started you know we went to past life and he was saying he was talking about these fields and he was before the session i just sh should say that um he was saying that he was really curious about aliens and he really wanted to know if he had ever been abducted or if e have has ever had like a cool experience with an alien so anyway so he gets regressed back to this past life and it looks like it's Scotland to him and he sees these rolling fields and all of a sudden he gets really quiet and then he goes, oh, the sheeps, sheeps. And I was like, oh, you know, ships, that's so cool. Tell me more about the ships. And he's like, there's so many sheeps, there's sheeps all around. 
there. And I was like, well, describe them to me. Describe these sheep. And he's like, these sheep, sheep. And I was like, cool. And he was like, they're white and they're, they're big. They're so big and white. He's like, I must be laying down. I was like, tell me more about the sheep. What happened to you? Do you like, does anything happen? You know? And then he was like, one just peed on me. And I was like, a ship peed on you? That is so strange. And I was like, tell me more about that. I didn't say that was so strange, but I was like, tell me more about that. And he's like, it's a sheep, a sheep. And I was like, yeah, a ship. And he was like, a sheep. And I was like, oh, a sheep. Okay, a sheep. And then I was like, oh my God, that was such a mistake. And because I should have known like a sheep being like the ship isn't going to pee but i was like that's so strange like is there some kind of you know liquid that comes out of these ships i mean it was it was another it was another disaster <laughs> but i mean i re it recovered and you know we went along <sighs> but yeah i mean there's always those sessions that they get down to the ground and i mean i've had a session where this man was got down to the ground and then he was super quiet and i was like what's going on you tell me more what do you notice and he, he's just like this is amazing i'm like great tell me more explain to me what's happening and he's like there's this cave woman that asked me to have sex with her so i'm just gonna be quiet for a little bit and then i'll get back to you and i'm like oh okay all right <laughs> just because <laughs> you want i mean you want to like stay with them and make sure they're in the scene, but you, you know, you never know. I don't know. It's, but it was fine because after he did that, then he explained, you know, his home life and everything like that. But I was a little worried as I was quiet for a little while, is he going to stay with the scene or, you know, yeah. But you know, just tell me when you're in finished. The session, the person, yeah. But you know, in the session, the person always has awareness, you know, they always are in control. So it's, hmm. it's kind of like, you know, they could, they could move <laughs> if they wanted to, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, it's stuff this like is that. Exactly, but this I mean, is exactly why I was so hoping that you were going to agree to come on and do this with me. <laughs> well. I mean, I feel like I've, I've had a lot of funny sessions. Mm. <laughs> Just, I mean, there's always something or, oh, like it's not funny, but it is kind of funny. I had this teenager who came for a session. He wasn't, I mean, he was 17 and his mom dropped him off and she was saying, you know, um, I don't know what to do. I want him to have this session. Maybe he can find his life's purpose and maybe he won't keep doing drugs because he was on drugs and she was about to send him to rehab. And I was, you know, wondering what his higher self was going to say about all the drugs. And oh my gosh, have you ever had a higher self yell at the client? Mm, many times. Has that ever happened to you? Mm -hmm. Where the mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was one of those sessions. So the higher self was like, he is not listening to us. We have shown him so many different signs. We have put this right in his face. He'll be flipping through the internet. We'll put his, you know, what he's supposed to do for his purpose right there. And, and he's supposed to do music and he's not supposed to do these drugs. And they were like saying, he's so senseless and he never listens to his mother and he better listen to this recording multiple times so that he can get it. <laughs> and it was just amazing and how loud he was <laughs> yelling ultimately at himself but yeah those mm. sessions are really interesting when the higher they self are. the subconscious mm -hmm. is has a lot to say totally know, and to and mind. it all comes down but, to that's that's exactly what he needed at the time <clears throat> yeah that's exactly what he needed but it was so valuable for him. I mean, he really got to know what his life's purpose was. And I think he was surprised to really, mm. you know, hear it from himself, from that part of himself. It's very confirming. So it's so, it's so valuable and wonderful to be a practitioner of these sessions and also to get a session yourself because it's life changing. Yes. I mean, you can, 
your true purpose and heal yourself, it's amazing. So I want to tell you about what I've been up to recently, if that's okay. Yes, please. So I, yes. so I don't know about you, but I don't usually tell people about what I do. They usually seek me out when they're interested interested in a session or because people around where I live they usually know what I do so I just don't put myself out there like hey you want a session I just let people come to me but um there was this one teacher that I spent so much time with um, I never even brought up the subject of spirituality or anything to her but I it was in my early days when I was first starting out and I thought maybe she would want to be a subject and do this type of hypnosis because I had, I had worked with her before when I was getting my, um, becoming a master hypnotist. So I had worked with her before, um, for weight loss and we did three weight loss sessions and nothing, her weight didn't budge. So we knew there was something else, but I just never thought about it and 10 years passed. So I asked her if she wanted to be a subject, but mm -hmm. I didn't know how she would feel because I didn't know how she would feel about doing a past life regression because I didn't know if she would be open to it or not. And I explained it to her and everything. And we would just talk about our kids. We had kids in the same school and the same ages. And so, and surprisingly, she was like, yes, I would love to do that type of session. That's exactly what I've been looking for. I can't believe you do this. And she said, the reason she wanted to do this type of session was because she had a brain condition called pseudotumor cerebri. And what was happening was she, her brain, the fluid in her brain was crushing her brain. And she was working really carefully with the uh, specialist at the University of Miami Medical Center. And they put her on these really heavy duty medications. And she had been on it for a few months, but they hadn't noticed just any improvement and it wasn't getting better at all. So when I just happened to out of the blue ask her if she wanted to do this, she was so excited about it. So um, mm. so anyway, we did the first session and the information was all about this other lifetime that she had had where she had tried to get this information out to the world. So she, in her regression, she went to another lifetime where she tried to do the same thing. And what happened was she went to spread this information and she was called crazy and they lobotomized her. Wow. And she ended up killing herself. Wow. So in this, this life, she came back again to do the same thing. And she was here to do this with me. So we started working together. We started working together oh. to pull this information out because um, because meanwhile, let me just tell you this is so crazy, cool, I mean, and um, considered um, unbelievable that right after her session, she went back to her specialists at the University of Miami and they could not believe her results. Her tumor mm. had shrunk completely. All the brain swelling mm. went down and they considered that impossible because the only way you can deal with this type of tumor is with heavy duty medication. She no longer even needs to go there at this point. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we started working together because her higher self said this was her mission, get this information out that she had tried in that previous lifetime to get out and to spread it with the world. So we got all this information. It took about like two years and, um, we're writing a book. I'm writing my own book, which I'm it's almost done. I'm just editing and she's telling the whole story. So the story is the whole story about Atlantis and Lemuria. Wow. And what happened wow. because she was an eyewitness to it and she had tried and failed in that other lifetime. And this information is so important and so relevant to what's going on today. It's unbelievable. So I'm Amazing. so excited to get that book out. Yeah. Oh, and another funny thing is that I did this too. 
I did this in another lifetime. I wrote this book before. Well, not the same book, but yeah. How <laughs> interesting. How these things work. But when you get when you get to know this, it changes your mm. whole life. When you actually mm. get to know why you're here, what you're really doing. It's amazing. My book should be done in probably a month, and then I think it'll probably be available on Amazon and hers too. And hers will be called the A Child of the Universe. And then mine will be a hypnotist's journey to Atlantis. Wow. How cool. Yeah. 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 Can can I have first dibs on the on the first signed (laughs) sign one with with number one? That's funny. (laughs) That's funny. Is 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 that a yes or a no? Of course, John. Thank of you. Course. You're number one. You're first. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm blessed now. That's just made my day. Thank you very much. Oh, you're so oh. sweet. You're so sweet. I can't even imagine what, what that woman's life, how much that changed her. I mean, yeah, I know. Well, you know, it's funny because I thought to myself later, what if I never asked her? What if we were just friends for so many years and I never asked her? (laughs) The synchronicities. It's really funny how it works. Mm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. the synchronicities. Yeah. And Mm. I never knew anything really about Atlantis or or Lemuria. I didn't set out to go write a book about these places. I really didn't know much about it. I I mean, you hear of you hear of these places in the sessions, you know, of course, I'm sure you have Mm. and and but I never, you know, thought to write about it. It's so beautiful. It's such an amazing thing to watch people transform their lives mm. and to have a part in that. Mm. It's just mm. an incredible job. Totally. <laughs> uh, I feel so blessed, you know, and it's exciting and interesting. It's so interesting to find out more about history and to find out just more about other planets too. I, mm. I think it's really funny when... A client will go to a different planet that I have heard about so many times from other clients. And, you know, normally, normally when the conscious mind hasn't seen something before, it will instantly say you're making it up because it hasn't gone through the filter. You know, and Mm. if the conscious mind is around and the person's starting to talk about a different planet, it'll be like, you are making that up. But what's What's funny to me is when a client that has never heard about this planet will tell me in total detail about this planet and say, I think I'm making it up. And I know that she's not because, or he's not, because I've heard about this planet before. And mm-hmm. it's, it's so interesting. It's so amazing how many other planets, how many other Earths. I mean, it's so, totally. it's so it's, fun to just. It's fascinating. Always. And when that, when that happens, usually... Yeah. After after the session, when I talk about them, I'll I'll actually say, you're you're not the first one that's actually described it like that. I know, I know exactly where you yeah. where you were. Mm. Yeah, and they'll be like, what? And their face, <clears throat> yeah, their face looks so surprised. Mm. Wow, you know that was real. That was a real place. <laughs> what about you? Have you had any really crazy or funny sessions? Not one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just posted um, just the other night one, a, a lady, it was the funniest session I've ever had, where she actually, I did the segment from when she was a soldier and she left the body, the soul left the body, and then, she, and then her guide came down and got her and then she went into the resting place with all the other soldiers and they were sort of like... Um, she said, oh, it's really weird because we, we don't really care now. And we're like, actually, fighting so stupid and it's so silly. And, and they were talking about it in the <laughs> resting place. <laughs> it was so oh hard. My God. And, and, then, and, and, then she, and then she went into this other place and then she went into the Acacia Records and she got her, and she got her book. But it was so funny because when she was in the Acacia Records, she was like, she looked around and she started laughing and she goes, 
she said, oh, this is so funny. She's like, they look so funny. And she's like, well, I'm just going to say it. Looks like an alien. <laughs> and I was like, describe <laughs> that to me. <laughs> and she had her hands over her eyes and she just started in hysterics and she started laughing and laughing and laughing, looking at all these other ETs in, that, in, in, the, in the Acacia Library. It was so funny. I've, I've got it on. I've got it on YouTube, and the, the picture on it is called a, a, "A Soul Remembers." It is hilarious. It is so funny. Gosh, I'm yeah. gonna listen. That's oh, so funny. Like, oh, it is really cool. funny when people, mm. when especially when people see themselves and they look down at their feet and they they notice they're an alien or they notice they're like a furry being or something like that. It is it is really funny or a bear like oh my gosh i'm a bear mm. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting yeah it's totally neat to see how bears live amazing it was so interesting this one client that was a bear because um this client was saying that after her cubs left she was sad and lonely mm. i mean mm -hmm. and she thought about her cubs for years after they left that was really interesting. Oh, yeah, beautiful, really, yeah. You know, think about what bears think, yeah. I, I had one lady that was a dinosaur. She was oh, wow. so big and so heavy <laughs> and so slow. And and she actually had three little babies just underneath her belly that were walking, were walking underneath her. That whole session was about, because she was only young and she lost, she lost a baby, but her higher self said, um those three souls from those three babies are just waiting for her so in the future she, she's going to have three that they're, they're getting ready to come back so she doesn't have to worry about having any babies oh mm. i was oh like wow, wow. that's so beautiful it's mm. so beautiful Mm, I love it when yeah. something like that happens for the client and it changes their whole life when they realize you know something that that was upsetting really isn't because of of something that they planned or something that will happen mm. in the future it's so mm. amazing and beautiful to witness it's incredible and, and life change life changing for them yeah totally i have one client who lost her daughter um when her daughter was seven in a fire and in her session, she realized that her youngest daughter was actually that daughter reincarnated, that she had never actually lost that daughter. Yeah. And that was such a beautiful yeah. thing to watch, mm -hmm. her understanding that fully. Because yeah. yeah, one it's... thing to, to think that, but another yeah. to know. It's so interesting, mm -hmm. too, how some souls don't want a full life. They don't want to have to endure. <laughs> To endure a lifetime mm. but they want like a the closeness for a little bit or sometimes they they want to change the trajectory of their mom's life or father's life by um ending that life early so mm, interesting totally. no it's so interesting mm. how ev there are so many things that we map out for ourselves and how everything is so connected it's so mm -hmm. fascinating <laughs> It's fascinating. And then before you know it, you realize, wow, I was in Atlantis and I've written a book before and now I'm doing it again. <laughs> well, one time I even wrote it on a stone wall. I carved it in the wall, but it wasn't, you go. that one wasn't about, <laughs> yeah, that one wasn't about Atlantis. It was, it was about Lemuria, but it's funny that, that I did this before. <laughs> Mm, just so the here connections. I am again. Yeah. Yeah. So interesting. So much. And if people want to get hold of you, what's the best way for people to get hold of you? Um, yeah. Thank you, John. This was really fun. Um, if people want to get a hold of me, they can go to my website. It's www.theholistichypnotist.com. Theholistichypnotist.com. Beautiful. And what I'll do is I'll I'll post the link in the description down below so people can just click on onto it. And thank you so so much.